You know what? When you realize that God loves you, it breaks down so many barriers. You know, I don't know what you, who we think we are, what we think we are. But when God can get that crazy thing up here and make it peaceful, there's something special about that, isn't it? How do you like to run around with a grudge? Man, I don't like that person. Somebody raise your hand. You know, most of us. You know, you just want to run around with a grudge. Well, you can go ahead and do that if you want. Go well, by tell you something, you're carrying a heavy, 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 heavy load. Carolyn, give me a hug. She's an old boy. We had a, a good time last night. We went down to the fair. Now, this is extremely interesting. No, no, we stayed outside. In fact, one of our disciples, him and his dad, were inside the fairgrounds preaching for a long time. But here we come with our signs and our people. We got our little mini K, which we worked for a while, and we had to go change batteries. That'll work fine. So we're walking around these signs. I want you to catch this. And I can just see it on people's faces. It's like, it's like, hey, you guys are too aggressive. Well, there was another group out there. It was a hate group, basically. And they were preaching religion. And they are saying, if you weren't at this, whatever, that God hates you. Wow. And they were, they were like military, you know, they had their shirts on, and they stood there. First thing I did when I walked, you know, up there, I said, you know, we're out here just doing, you know, just doing the same thing here. Oh, no, you're not. And then I knew. <laughs> and we were right in front of the gate. People were going in, going out. And all of a sudden, let me tell you something. When you can look somebody in the eye and mean it and tell them Jesus loves you, it breaks down all the barriers. When you're preaching Jesus Christ and crucified, you have to see it in people's faces. Like the rabbit This ain't the same way you're supposed to do it. Well, you can be radical and tell people that Jesus loves them. And it's the funniest thing. What are you to him? He starts smiling. And then, if it is, this is the fair. A lot of them are coming out with these animals, stuffed animals, you know, that they want. And man, it's amazing. You've got to be pretty good to win those things, right? And I said, Jesus, what you? How'd you win that thing? And you ought to see the grin come on it. Some lady they carry him. He did. He just grinning. <laughs> you know, we all like to have somebody like us to have somebody pay attention to us. Amen. And you know, when you realize how much Jesus loves us, loves us, he'll pay attention to us because he loves us. When people get to know that, you're not asking anything about them. You're not jamming anything down their throat. You just say, you know, Jesus loves you. Say, I'm coming. What do you think about that last night? Well, I didn't go out to the... Oh, I'm sorry. Ground. I'm sorry. Right. Friday night. Friday night in Hill Street. Uh, there was a bunch of young people running around there. There were flowers and everything. They had smells on their faces, and they were kind to us. And we said, Jesus loves you. That's our people. Uh, that was your people. Rescue project. They passed out flowers. I had no idea. Praise God, you know. So what were you doing? I was passing out gospel literature and food. At the end there, you told me to take one little bit of old of food. And I... How'd that work? Worked out pretty good. We found a homeless guy, so we uh, left it there with him, told him, you see any more of your buddies hanging around, giving some food there, there's a porch in there and stuff. And, uh, you know, Pastor, I say, what a joy it is to be back at church on the street. I just came back. And, and see you I'm back in the church. I don't want that blessing at Dream Center here. Hallelujah. God has really blessed uh, Steel of Church on the Street. I'm just glad to be back with all my brothers and sisters. I had to go away for a while and do a little time because I violated my probation back in 2003. You've you been in prison. Everybody hide your wallets, please. <laughs> no, no. Keep an eye out. Get, 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 get. <laughs>
Oh, you gave it all away, so I don't have to worry about it. That's good. That's excellent. Give it all away, so I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, um, great to be back, and I ain't leaving again. You're ready. Uh, you know, I, I forgot. Uh, you know, I forgot about Friday night. We went to Bill Avenue Friday night. This is kind of funny. You know those guys that have a, well, there's a bicycle with a couple seats in the back, like little carts. So they run them around. We used to call it rickshaws when we were building Oregon. I don't know what you call them here. Whatever you call them. And the guy, the guy was sitting there, and I thought, Jesus loves you. He looks at me. He says, thank you. Then he, then he has me these two big plates. Or no, they're not plates, they're casserole something or other, full of food. He says, baby, you can have these out to the homeless more than we can. I says, yes, sir. <laughs> and you know, he just started grinning because he's a Christian. You'd be amazing. You know, you go out, you confront people head on. Unless they know who you're really, where you're really coming from, and you don't have a whole lot of time to explain to them, they're gonna. And this happens all the We, I've been doing this for a lot of years. Now, when I first got saved, I went out with groups, very combative, radical. They get people facing, like in a movie. This is an ungodly movie. This is a Satan. You better not go on this. You're going to hell. A lot of people were Christians. You know, in the line, we walk down the line. I realize that's not. I mean, that's people. Let people do what they're going to do. You're out there. Telling people, and most of the time, where, where we go, that's the devil's territory. And of course, they're perfect saints. Some of them are perfect sinning saints. And you're invading their, their territory. Amen? And you get to invade their territory. Amen? You go out and tell them, Is that your wife? Jesus loves you anyway. No matter what you're doing. What do you think about that? Better shut it. <laughs> no, I don't tell you. He's my golfing buddy. That man loves the Lord with all his heart, man. It's really neat just to see how God's using him. I go, you see, I want you to catch this really, though. God loves us no matter what we're doing. You know, we're out there telling people about the word, but what are we doing up here? I mean, I understand what I'm talking about. And we have to smile. This thing up here. So it's just kind of neat. Now, we've been having a little trouble getting some dear, dear of our little saints to go. <laughs> and sometimes I found out last night, because I guess the guys were busy, some of the best men, best, best men for the job are women. Amen. Yeah, nine yeah. women. Love you for me. Yeah. Is Rosa here? <laughs> there she is, come on. <laughs> After Friday night, just bouncing off the wall. <laughs> with excitement. And she came back last night, she's walking on the ceiling. <laughs> Tell us, what, what's this doing for you? It's going out everything, but it's like going out. I'm going to see if I can explain myself right. You know what? I, I was avoiding going to these outreaches because I was so scared of it. Because my background is alcohol. And I heard so many stories about the bars and this and that. And then I said, oh my God. Well, you know what? It was Friday, Thursday, what? Friday night, Friday night, there was mail going, they were going out to mail. And I said, oh man, I was biting with, you know, my inside. I said, oh, whoa, you don't go. Uh, finally, Deborah came out and she said, they need women. Uh, okay, let me find you some. Nobody would, you know, stand up. So I said, okay, uh, I was shaking. I said, I'll go. So, yeah, I hopped on the bus. And it was good all the way up that there. My bus. That big bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the little bus with the speakers, yes. And once I got in the bus, it was, you know, smooth drive. We were all singing, praising the Lord and stuff. Wow, when uh, Miss Barb said, this is it right here. Wow, I said, oh. It's like going to Vegas, you know, all those lights and stuff. <laughs> So I get there and I'm still shaking because I'm like, where's the bar's at? And then when I get there, yeah. I said, oh, get up, get up, what's the sign? What sign do you want? Oh, man. I don't even know what sign I got. So I was walking and I was like, oh, man, here's, here's the challenge that I, I need to face right now, you know? But I did pretty good out there, you know? There's a lot of high fives, a lot of, you know, amens and praises to the Lord and stuff. It was good. It was an experience I never expected, you know? 
I graduate next week, so I said, okay, I got my all these six months that I'm working with. Yeah. being high on meth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wow, this is an experience. Well, we, I had a lot of high fives and the thumbs going up and all kinds of stuff, but you know what? That's the Lord. That's the Lord, you know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of nervous being up here, so. No, you're not. I'm kind of nervous. You're nervous. I'm kind of shy.
here with pleasure. And after a while, you get to see all this, and it's, it's heartbreaking. It's, it almost stuns you when you leave. But a lady was in the <coughs> car, uh, she and her husband, and she, they'd stopped, and she came out to us, and she said, you know, six years ago, I was here, she says, in these bars. She says, I'm not here now. And she says, and then she came last night, and she was at the fair also. And she came up, she said, you remember us? This group that was out there last night was so horrible. And I, he said, over there, this man's over there, our pastor, you know, he is so lovable and he just loving everybody. I'm right there in that side in front of these people. I'm right there in front of that guy handing out those papers, standing right in front of him. You know, I'm thinking we're going to hit me on the head and knock me down or something like that, you know. And I'm praying in tongues the louder he spoke, the louder I prayed. And this one lady, she came by, she went, whoa, you know, like all this noise, what is all this noise, you know. But, you know, it's spiritual warfare, and, and when you see these, excuse me, this is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so, but it's actually, uh, 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 you know, spiritual warfare, there's a dying world out there, you know, and, and, and yeah, amen. You and Rosa. When the Lord says, get deeper, deep he says spring up oh well within my soul see the deepness is within us and like Paul says stir up the gift in you stir it up say oh spring up oh well come forth you know come forth greater is he that's in us and, and Ben Pastor Ben was across the street we could hear him plainly this these people were just oh horrible they said you know I was from the devil and all this and that you probably were. <laughs> it won't die. But not anymore. Not anymore. And you got him. It was true. You know, I don't even know what happened to that group. You know, the cops were out. I had it right beside him. You know, I said, hey, how are we doing? Oh, you guys are doing fine. In fact, some of our people are witness to them. I think she's here. One of our disciples' mother. Yeah. And where are you at? Here. Where is she? Right Stand up. She got, there he is, John. She got busted by, and she looked to see what we were doing, so we gave her a sign, and she's going around. Next thing I know, she's talking to the cops, and running here and running there. And she had another friend with her that was doing the same thing. And those, that, that group that was out there, I don't know, they called them with catching their line or something. And they tied Hitler or something. That's when the cops shut them down, so you guys got to I mean, it was really kind of radical. You know what? But we were out there with them. You love God. We weren't preaching hellfire and brimstone. We were just telling people about Jesus. And back to really quickly, Friday night was over in Scottsdale, and a young guy came up to me and he's questioning. He's not a Catholic. What are you guys doing? You know, is this? The next thing I said, Were well, you a Christian? I said, I don't really, I don't know. I said, Have you ever given your life to the Lord? He said, I'm not too. What's that mean? So I got a chance to pray. I'm screaming at him because we're this far away and you can't hear it. Next thing you know, I grabbed his hand, put arm around him, we started to pray and led to the Lord. Bring your crosses in. By the way, who cares? We had two crosses last night, two crosses Friday night. Man, I'm telling you something. These crosses are something else. Look at these, look at these guys. Man, they look at that. They got their three-piece suit on. I mean, they're all spit and polished. No, but what they got, they got the love of God. They got How was it out there? Amen. I just want to um, let. Oh, golly. Um, I love Jesus. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. I think he's been merciful and, and all loving. So here I am. How long have you been in mission? Uh, since last night. That's your first night in mission? It's my second time, my second try, so. Yeah. I came in last night. Good for you. Let's pray for you. Tanner, this is your mission. Don't drag this thing out. <laughs> Heavenly Father, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this, this lost son uh, of yours, this lost family member of ours, Father God. You, know, you brought him out from the Netherlands, from the God only knows the horrible things that he's had to suffer. But he's at a place now, Father God, that he can he can turn to you and he can let you restore 
everything that's been stolen, everything that's been destroyed, Father God. So we just ask that you put peace in his heart, you settle him in here, and help him to understand he's with family. Now, he may not realize that, but we do love him, we do care for him, and, and we thank you, God, for providing a mission that he can come to, to to restart his life, to rekindle that relationship with you. So, Father God, just bind up every good work you're doing in his life, not only his, but all those that are coming through the mission, and all those we reach out to minister to. Thank you, God. Thank you for this wonderful young man. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Very quickly, how was it carried across to Um, Enlightening. I, can't Im I couldn't imagine the burden that he had on his shoulders. And this was easy. I had wheels on this thing, you know? And probably about 100 pounds lighter. But yeah, I, I couldn't imagine what he, what he did, what he went through. You know, Paul, Probably many of us couldn't imagine what you've done either in the past without the national. Thank God. So let's go from here. Amen. That's all we need. God bless you. We need you to go from here. I'll look it up. Oh, it was a blessing, sir. Um, all I can tell you is slow has been changed for me you know, in my life. And uh, you know, I let God take the wheel and put Jesus in my heart. So if you knew me before, I'm a different person today. You in the mission? I am, sir. How long have you been here? It's my second day. Really? You know, we got a discipleship program here. If you guys, you know, all we need to do is let God be God. Let's see what, how God can use people. He's bringing people. Some of these guys are pretty radical. Maybe they got something here to get us by. God bless you. Thank you. What about old guys? Call the old guy last. This old rascal. By the way. I think he starts on Monday. You'll pick me up Friday night for Bill Avenue. Tuesday. Make sure the bus is down there. Pick me up. Then he gets, listen, Carl back there. <laughs> then he gets a hold of Carl. Carl starts texting. Hey, you better pick him up. This is James. This is James. You better pick him up. Sure enough, we went out and picked him up Friday night. How you doing? You were sick last night, weren't you? That's right. But, you know, I asked the Lord about it, and he said, you missed an opportunity to go out and witness from my spirit, and I had to confess and ask him to forgive me for that. And he told me something else, too. I have to ask your forgiveness. What? Because I could have gone last night and I neglected that, and who knows, but what somebody could have been touched. You sound like Zach. Uh, <laughs> well, I personally, I, I asked the Lord to forgive and he did, and I know that I'm forgiven. But you know, when we sin, we not only sin against God, but I sinned against you guys too. You're a good one. We're all connected. Hey, well, everybody, for, well, I don't know, should we forgive him? Yes. Well, yeah. Ladies, should we forgive it? Gentlemen and Mason, should we forgive it? Okay. Well, it's, give me 50 bucks and we'll forgive you. God bless you. You're a good man. Don't worry about all that. Amen. We're people. Blessing to be on the cross. You know, everybody in here knows that I do it. I do it when I do it every week. And the reason that I do it is simple because I made a vow to God. That if he healed me, I would walk this cross until he takes me home. And I'm determined. Oh, we're stuck. Locked on. Not going to be dissuaded from doing what I honor. Oh, you're preaching up. Get the thing out of the way. You're going to carry it. How you doing? Good, how are you? Are you guys part of the... Uh, we're with Beth HL Community Church. Woo! Where's the leader at? Where's she at? I just saw her here. Come on up here. Real quick, she was up here yesterday for soul winning. How'd you like hearing across up here? Uh, it was an experience. I mean, I grew up in Phoenix. You know, I just I've never seen that part of Phoenix. And um, just seeing what these poor people go through, I mean, it's yeah, it was just it was an experience. How long have you been a Christian? Um, probably fourteen years. Fourteen years. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your group and what do you think about this? Are we crazy? I mean, no, beautiful. Tell us about your, your church, your group, and what you're doing here. This is um, our youth group from Faith of Love Community Church. And um, this year we've been studying, we started our study with the word of more in the Bible. And we studied about how that means um, unconditional love, and that's love that Christ has for us. And it was really neat because our youth group said this is going to be our year of more. And um, it really has been. We have a really great group. They just have the love of the Lord in them. And it's been kind of like a big finale for them to see um, what Christ's love looks like. And like today, going to Cass, I've grown up here too. I've never been there. And, um, you know, it's easy. Sometimes people think that people, you know, when you choose a certain life over another, there's such a lack of compassion sometimes. And we can understand that in a way. 
But the great thing about the Lord, I just kept thinking, that's how much Christ loves us. Like, he loves us where we are, and um, that's the love of Christ in us that he wants us to show. And um, it was hard for me. I just want to go to each person and give them a hug and say, the Lord loves you, and you can't even do that. You know, we only have two hands. But those two hands can touch one person. Amen. How many of us have lived in Cass? Stand up. You've come from Cass at one time or another. You've lived there. Amen. We're all the same. Now, I was talking to them yesterday, and not one of them have ever been in jail or prison. What? What? <laughs> they need to go to jail. I don't know what to do with them. Hi, pretty young lady. How was it out there for you? It was good. Jeez. Was it fun? I mean, what, 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 what. Oh, um, well, it was eye-opening. I mean, my heart went out to those people. I felt really valid for them. But I mean, it just... Were well, you glad you did? Yeah, it really just showed me that I took a lot of things for granted. Like, I mean, a bed and like a pillow. You know, dude, like, I don't know. I go to sleep every night and turn off my light and get all comfy. And those people can't even do that. And so I just like happen to know that Jesus loves them, you know? God bless you. How about you? Hi. <laughs> what did you think about doing that? Um, I really liked it. It was something new, and when we were praying, something was said that really touched me, and it was that we got to kind of experience a little bit of what God did when He carried the cross. Amen. Well, this is me. You know what I love to have people like this come. They're innocent. Not easy. They would never tell you that. According to what we've done, they are. But the deal is, we're all people. And we're all lost. The sweetest young lady or the sweetest grandma that ever lived has not turned her life over to God. It's going to hell. And the most wretched sinner. Like Gator. I mean, some people. <laughs> and we turn up. Daddy! Oh, my land. <laughs> we turn our life over to Christ. We're made righteous. And this is what's so neat. We're just all people. God bless you guys. we we'll fight the good fight. Good fight. Out there again across the day after last night. Well, I'll tell you what, you're going after, aren't you? You're going to Texas and do the same thing? Anyway, what's on your heart? I'm just so grateful that I'm able to do all this. This is like, um, it's like I've been, I've been transformed to a different world. And all these experiences, oh, you know, once in a lifetime, but I'm just going to Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Don't fire it up. You know, most times she smiles, so the other day she went smiling. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and I saw her over there, she had a half smile. Now she got the whole thing back. Uh, what was it like out there? It was, uh, it was a good experience. That means. <laughs> um, it, was a, it was a good experience. There was people coming out of the woodwork from everywhere. Did you love Jesus? Yes. <coughs> you want to go out there and give them a big hug? Tell them that Jesus loves them. Yes. Give me one. Is this place fun? Yes. You sure? Yes. It can be. Amen. <laughs> There's another warrior. She's an old time. She goes every place and does everything. So how are you doing there? I'm happy to be here and doing this. Getting to the town. Getting to the town. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I got to wait. I'm going to hold this one here. Well, that's how the Hispanics praise the Lord. That's a pretty good praise the Lord. God bless you guys. Yeah, we couldn't pull that with this today, but I'm going to tell you something. You can see what God's doing.